so one of the foods that we eat at the Seder is called charoset. Ha. Ro. Set. Charoset is often made with apples and nuts and maybe some grape juice or wine, but there's definitely different kinds of recipes out there. Uh, maybe you can ask your parents what they put in their charoset. Um, and it's supposed to remind us of the sticky stuff that was used to hold the bricks together when the slaves had to build pyramids. So that's why we eat charoset. And this story is a cute story about it called A Taste for Noah. I know Noah Borowski is excited about that one. <clears throat> Noah's class was busy getting ready for Passover. This year, they will have a Seder in their classroom. They were making everything in themselves. Their Haggadot, the, remember we talked about the books that help us go through the Seder, their Kiddush cups, matzah, and charoset. We haven't talked about matzah yet. Do you guys know what matzah is? Matzah is very, 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 very flat bread. It's kind of like a cracker. Um, it does not rise. When you make bread, it rises. Matzah stays flat to remind us that the Jews had to run quickly out of Egypt and didn't have a lot of time and they couldn't bake their bread. So they had matzah. Noah was worried. He didn't like charoset. So if you look at the picture, there's their Haggadah, Kiddush cup, and that's the charoset. And there's the matzah in a cover. <clears throat> On Monday, everyone made a, Haggad a Haggadah, the book that tells the story of Passover. They colored their pictures of Moses and the Jewish people crossing the Sea of Freedom. When Noah, fin oops. when Noah finished, he asked in a small voice, Are we making charoset tomorrow? No, Noah, said the teacher. Not yet. On Tuesday, the class made kiddush cups. They covered paper cups with foil and decorated them with bright bits of paper. They would drink four cups of grape juice at the Seder. That's true, Yaladim. We drink four cups throughout the Seder. It's a lot of grape juice. I hope we aren't making haroset tomorrow, Noah whispered to his friend Chana. I don't like haroset. Chana whispered back, I do. I love haroset. On Wednesday, they made flatbread called matzah. As Noah quickly mixed the flour and water and rolled out the dough, he thought about how the Jewish slaves hurried out of Egypt without time to let their dough rise. Then he thought about the charoset. Ugh, what if they make it tomorrow? The picture of the Hebrew people running out of Egypt. On Thursday, the class washed pieces of parsley. We're going to talk about that tomorrow. Uh, to dip in salt water. The teacher explained that parsley stands for springtime and the salt water reminds us of tears. I want you to people see the whole picture. There we go. The Jewish slaves cried because of the bricks they had to make, Noah said. Bricks look like charoset. Right, said his teacher. And tomorrow we're going to make charoset. Charoset, thought Noah. Yuck. When Noah got to school... On Friday, the class was already busy chopping the apples and the nuts. I don't want to help, said Noah. I don't like charoset. Why not, asked his friend Josh. 
because I never tasted it and it's mushy. Just try it, said Josh. No, I won't like it. You like apples, Josh said. Remember the apples we dipped in honey and Rosh Hashanah and the applesauce we made for Hanukkah? Okay, said Noah. So Noah put a piece in his mouth. Mmm, good, he agreed. But I don't like the nuts. But you like peanut butter? Just try it. So Noah chewed a piece of the nut. Well, I sort of liked it. And he reached for another piece. Now we will add sugar and cinnamon, said his teacher. Noah sniffed the cinnamon. Ooh, it smells like my grandma's cookies. Your grandma makes great cookies. The best, said Noah. Finally, we add just a little bit of grape juice to the mix and everyone took a turn stirring the haroset. Who wants a taste? asked the teacher. The children all crowded around the bowl. Everyone but Noah. Come on, Josh tugged at Noah. No, said Noah. I told you I don't like haroset. But you like the apples, you like the nuts, and you like the cinnamon. Just taste it. Noah closed his eyes and put a tiny bit on his tongue. The class watched as he chewed and swallowed. Well... Noah opened his eyes wide. It's good. At the class Seder that afternoon, Noah dipped the parsley and ate the crunchy matzah, but he liked the haroset the best of all. So everybody, you can see their Seder. One day we'll be talking about the Seder plate that you see right here. And everybody has their books, their Haggadot. So, I'm going to put a recipe for Haroset on the blog if you and your parents want to make it. All you have to do is chop up an apple. You can use nuts if you want, any kind of nuts. They used walnuts. Chop those up. Put in a bowl, mix it, put some cinnamon on it, and a little bit of grape juice. That's it. Bye, guys.